everybody, welcome to Simple Diversion. My name is Graham. My name is Rob. And we are doing take two because we got damn near done with the video and we forgot yeah, we were the like sound done. was not on. <sighs> I didn't think you guys were that good at lip reading, so we're gonna do it again and we're gonna do it better. We could put the other video up. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to be excited this time. At least we are uh, a little bit more liquored up for this round. Oh, yeah. So maybe we'll be a little bit more loose. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> in case um, you don't see what's in front of us, this is White Walker by Johnny Walker. And this is a limited edition blended scotch from Johnny Walker in celebration of the last season of Game of Thrones, which is coming up in April of 2019. Mm. If anybody isn't familiar with Johnny Walker, this is going to be distilled north of the wall. That's what it says, North of the Wall. Yeah. So if, if you don't watch Game of Thrones, you probably didn't you think probably that was no funny at all. What's going on. And, uh, watch Game of Thrones. It's the best show out there. It's on HBO. And you can take this time from now until April to, to catch, catch up, up. And you don't have to wait in between seasons. I started watching, I think, uh, before season six. This was my only season that I had to wait for and watch. Oh, really? Yeah. This is not the first time that Johnny Walker has teamed up with a show or a movie. They teamed up with Blade Runner. Yep. Like you said before, they teamed up with women. <laughs> Jane, Jane Walker. Jane Walker. Uh, I think it's awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I do feel like the Blade Runner bottle was really cool. I still haven't tried it. I do have a bottle. It is still sealed. And like we mentioned, it is limited. Um, so get it while you still can. We found yeah. our bottle for $28, $27.99 yeah. at Total Wine. They do have a bunch there right now, but so you depending, can still find it. So yes. don't buy it on eBay right now for 180. But yeah, depending on your location, <laughs> they're already up on eBay for 175. Yeah. Ish. I don't know if they're gonna sell for that right now, but I think eventually they will. Oh, they're getting ready. So find it while you can. Yeah. But th and this isn't the first time Game of Thrones has teamed up with an alcoholic beverage. They teamed up with wine and beer. I was at the airport on my way back from London. I just went to London, and I was on my way back from London, yeah. <laughs> and um, I saw these at the airport, and the guy was like, "Would you like to test one?" can't do that max and very well and I said no because I wanted <laughs> I don't give a fuck who you think you are <laughs> <laughs> it just pops into my head it's not even uh, London it's anyways it's so I said no because I wanted to make sure I tried this with uh, this guy and with you I don't give a <laughs> I'm I don't trying to be McGregor right now. You went to You're trying to get jumped. <laughs> it's 41.7%, which is higher than most of their other line, other than the green label and the special edition blue. 41.7%. And you cracked the code on why that is. I think it might. Did we check the date yet? No, I'm I think that might be a secret of the exact day that it will start. I believe it April is. April 17th. I it believe would make it is. sense, because why would you have 41.7? So if you're not familiar with Game of Thrones... We thought we were so cool. The White Walker is the nemesis uh, from north of the wall, which is like Arctic weather. They're not dead, they're not alive, they're not vampires, but they're like these icy human creatures that pretty much want to take over the world. Yeah. And if the humans don't they're, get their crap together, like they the will. They're the main villain. They're... Yeah. Pretty, pretty awesome. The other cool thing about Game of Thrones, and you mentioned this to me before I started watching, there's no good guys or bad guys. Right. People change and... It's so real, like, they're just people, mm -hmm. you know? And nobody's safe. It's a really cool presentation. We were talking before and, and I would, even if the liquid inside is no good, I would still be fine buying yeah. this just for the collectible oh, yeah. bottle. Yeah, and I, I said before, I'd, I'd probably give this bottle an A- minus in the looks. Mm -hmm. um, I do wish it had a cork, but oh well. And, and, I, and I wish it was more of the heftier and, bottle, right. the higher end bottle, um, yeah. to give it more girth. And I, I do like what you said before that it's uh, you know Johnny Walker turned into a to a white. Yeah. And uh, he's got the blue eyes and the the sword, the staff. Or yeah, and then whatever. the the White Walker armor. Yeah, oh, this guy's pretty got. sweet. No, he doesn't have a shirt on. <laughs> this uh, guy's got it. But yeah, the, they did a great job with this. Um, this whole bottle, really, its it just looks like a block of ice. And apparently when you put it in the freezer, a secret message comes to the That's side. That's right. And apparently it's... The end of the video. We'll see what it is. It says, freeze for an unexpected message reveal. Yeah. And it also says that it's served best out of the freezer. We'll see. We have another bottle in the freezer right now. So we are going to try it room temperature first. And then we're going to try the frozen one second. Ooh. So there's going to be eight single malts coming to the U.S. next month. 
that are also going to be celebrating Game of Thrones. Mm. And those are The Night Watch by Oban. We have Winterfell by Delwini. Uh, Dragonstone by Cardu. Storm's End by Royal Lachnagar. High Garden by Kleinelish. Kleinelish. <laughs> Kleinelish. Kleinelish. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Castle Rock by Lagavulin with Casterly Ohio. Rock. <laughs> Castle Rock. <laughs> Casterly Rock by Lagavulin. Pike by Talisker. And River Run by Singleton. What is one that you're really looking forward to trying? I would have to say Castle Rock by Lagavulin. Okay. We both agree with that. And then we'd also like to try the Night's, Night's Watch, Watch by, I was by Oban. Say Night's Watch, Probably yeah. even Pike by Talisker. Yep, yeah. Well, because it's Talisker. And Pike's not bad. It's the Greyjoys. So. I found a little bit of info on the, the Lagavulin. It's going to be a nine year single malt, oh. which is for the ninth year. <laughs> like how you would say, like you don't know. <laughs> we just talked about it. But anyway. Um, did, yeah. you, did we talk about this? We did. Did you, did you say this the yeah. last time? Really? Yeah. The nine, nine, wow. So a nine year old, it's going to be $65, okay. which is kind of high, but, but if it's you compare it to the eight year, yeah. it's about oh. the same price. Yeah. What's, who's your favorite character, Game of Thrones? My favorite character, I think, would be. I know, there's a lot. I think it's going to be the Dead throne. Dead or alive. It's going to be alive. the throne. The throne is your favorite character? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I mean, he started all this mess. <laughs> no, I would say the hound. I love his. His one-liners, his zingers. Oh yeah, F the king. I was gonna say that, but <laughs> yeah. how about you? Um, Jamie Lannister. I know a lot of people look at me like, "What?" He, he, uh, He's loved Jamie since the beginning, so leave him alone. Uh, at the beginning, <laughs> but um, I did start liking him about seasons three or four. You know, okay. um, I won't say why, but yeah, around that time I started to like him. I've liked him more and more since. So on the on the back of the bottle, it states. A little bit about the White Walkers themselves. Once forgotten and reduced to ancient legend, White Walkers have emerged from the frozen north, bringing with them chill of winter and the promise of terror and destruction to all who stand in their path. With their tall blades of ice capable of slicing through iron and their silent icy blue gaze, they are a chilling sight. When you see the undead coming, you know winter is here. Wow. A game that that, that, music that right, right there gave me chills. <laughs> White Walker by Johnny Walker is blend, a blended scotch whiskey inspired by these chill-inducing walkers. At the heart of the blend are single malts from Cardew and Clenish. One of Scotland's most northern distilleries, this whiskey is chill filtered to 1.5 degrees Celsius and best served cold directly from the freezer. Featuring notes of caramelized sugar and vanilla, fresh red berries with a touch of orchard fruit. This whiskey develops in com complexity as it warms to room temperature. I like how they said that. Yeah. As it warms to room temperature. <laughs> Since we uh, already did film this portion of the show, we already have our bottles or our glasses poured. Yep. Um, we already have the other bottle in the freezer getting ready for you. Yeah. And this bottle, one of three, is just uh, sitting here. Let's uh, see what we have in the nose. Sure. Oh, well, we're yeah. not taking a sip. Cheers here. to the nose. Cheers to the nose. Welcome to the nosing. It's different than anything else that I've ever smelled that's scotch true. wise. That's true. I will give it that. And it doesn't smell like scotch. Except it does still remind me a little bit of the wine cast yeah. mixed with the red. Before I was getting a lot of like candy apple and the berries that we're supposed to get on our palate. Very fruity. Mm. But I'm, I'm really getting a lot of vanilla this time. You know, I was just thinking that too. Yeah. Maybe it's because it sat out for a while, but on the first couple noses, it was like a weird peppermint, and I hate to say it like this, but it's like a peppermint Christmas tree. That's what it reminds peppermint. me of. <laughs> it's like a like, peppermint Christmas tree. <laughs> like, like a peppermint patty. But the more I go in, I'm, I'm actually getting that pleasant vanilla. Mm. Mm. Tastes like a peppermint Christmas tree. <laughs> Prost. Prost. See if it's a 10 out of 10 like the TV show. Getting like a vanilla with hints of that, kind of like a peppermint. It's, I don't get a whole lot of fruit. Yeah, it, it, maybe berries, but it not really, fruit. really does to me as I continue drinking this and and smelling it or nosing it. I, I'm getting a lot of it's it. It's almost like a whiskey smoothie. Yeah, it's not. I wouldn't say it's fruity at all. Mm. In my opinion, in my palate, but the more I drink it, the better it becomes. All right, so we just tasted it at room temperature. Now what we're gonna do is go grab the one in the freezer. Let's see if that tastes any different. So we'll catch you in a minute. All right, so we had this in the freezer for about a half an hour, maybe a little longer. 
And the message is winter is here. That's cool. So spoiler. I was afraid it was just gonna say Game of Thrones. Spoiler alert. That's nice and cold. I, I like that. It gets darker blue. It does. I think when it's colder. Um, it's pretty so cool. Pretty cool there. I don't even know if you can tell, but let's try it chilled. I feel like it loses some of its. Yeah. I was just gonna say I don't get as much of that peppermint. It smells more like scotch. It smells more like... I wish I could pinpoint what that is. It's gonna bother me forever. Right, let's try it again. I, I like, like it. it. I like it cold. <laughs> I like it. I feel like it cold. It's pretty cool. That's, that's nice. I mean, it still has the char same characteristics, but when it's cooled down, it does taste better. It, it goes does. down better. I think it loses a little bit, but it, do it is better. It has shades of red, where it reminds me of the red a little bit. Maybe some shades of the wine, but it's different. It's not those two, and it is better than those two. Yeah, I would say it's between the red and the black. I agree. But I will say, I, I've, even though the black tastes better, I, I will say I've enjoyed drinking this more than I yeah, enjoy it's fun. drinking the black. It's because nostalgic. Of, right. Would you buy this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we know that, so. Would you buy this? Oh, yeah. I won't buy it anymore, but yeah, no? I already have two bottles. Even if it's so. out for like another six months, you wouldn't buy one more bottle? Okay, if this was not like a special release... Like let's say, but let's say Game of Thrones starts in April. They have like one more little I might, yeah. box. Yeah. Or, but by then, those other single molds will be out. So I would... That's true. I would probably pick those over this. Maybe. But those are also going to be more expensive. I so don't want to open my bottle or the other bottles until the season starts. Oh, shit. It, you know, the, the single malts, I think, are going to be better because they're going to be aged 9 years, 12 years, whatever. Oh, yeah. I have, I have high hopes for Lagavulin. Yeah, so this is more of just, it's cool, and it's... Well, it's winter is here. It's getting you ready for all the single malts. Yeah. They're coming, you know? So I think... Single malts. I think the, the presentation on this is going to be the best one. Oh, yeah. But I don't think the liquid inside is going to be the best. So... No. My I don't grade, think it's going to be the worst either, though. No. My... Well, my grade would be a C+. <laughs> well, plus. Yeah. I'm going to give it a C+. Plus. I think the presentation is great. I think the, the thought process of it is great. Game of Thrones is awesome. Liquid inside is... <laughs> it's probably... It's okay. It's yeah. not bad. Presentation, but, I give an A, but... With everything, C+. Plus. This was a long video, and we thank you for sticking around. It's a special thing. edition. Yeah, if yeah, you like so Game of Thrones, okay. hopefully you were able to watch this whole thing. If not, well, hopefully you like Scotch and you were able to watch the whole thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Um, ring that bell so that you can be notified every Shame. month when we come out with a video. <laughs> every nah, month. <laughs> the way it's going right now, well, we were planning for a wedding. Yeah, you life, were in the wedding, so life gets it, it was busy. Um, work's been busy. Uh, babies, yeah. um, life. Life is busy, and this is our house. So hopefully we can enjoy this with you guys some more. We will. Hopefully we can get a couple more stowies in uh, before it gets dark at 4 p.m. Yeah, and we'll go from there. But uh, thanks for watching, yeah. and thank you, Chad, for covering for me. Yeah, last thanks, week. Chad. I think Chad said he was going to try his bottle tonight. So oh, you got a bottle? Chad, let us know if you liked it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to always have a whiskey in one hand, a cigar in the other, and good oh. company by your side. As always, I'll see you soon. See you soon.